So boys, since Yomi is in since Yomi's in Nottingham again for the weekend, we thought we'd do another Temi La uh, no, we thought we'd do another Lowry podcast because you guys liked the last one. You like my long form content, so we've got another podcast. So Yomi, where can they find you on social media? Um Yomi Lowry on Instagram, YouTube. You know, all, all the socials are the same actually, just Yomi Lowry, my name. Exactly the same as me. Yomi Lowry and Temi Lowry. Yeah. It's a shame. Because we almost had Tajian, which is our other brother. Oh, that would have been sick. Yeah, we could have even got him in on the podcast. Yeah. So Yomi's my full brother, and then I've got a half-brother called Tajian that I've met once. And he was supposed to come for the weekend, but unfortunately he couldn't make it, so it's a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, we've literally just got back from the first ever Alpha Set of Boxing seminar that we've just done this weekend. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was sick. It was sick. It was... Um, obviously, with football, right, I'm very fit. Um, I can last four night easily two times in the space of two days, three days. But boxing, stamina, or martial arts in general, it's just a lot different. So it was tiring, of course. But yeah, no, it was sick. Sick to meet some of the boys. And yeah, it was a sick, sick session, man. It was good. Great session. It's set up nicely because what we're doing later is all well, we're going out for steaks and cigars later. Um, but generally, like, what a great group of boys. Yeah. Well, we've got. 100%. 100%. Like, and that's only a fraction. Like, that's what? Seven out of a hundred. Yeah. yeah. We've got 115 now. Yeah. And growing still. Um, yeah. Day by day. But yeah, like, everyone today, bless guys, all, all of them can fight. And it's like, if we can just build a massive group of these guys, it's going to be so sick. I mean, it's called Alpha Sets for a reason. Yeah. Like, literally all of these boys inside the program, like, there wasn't, like, we're not like, going through, like, the basics of, like, how to punch. Like, we're having, like, competitive sparring rounds. I was getting pieced up by... Joanne and Keon were catching me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, we're all good fighters and alpha setters. It's just really good to see that by posting TikToks and posting YouTube videos, I've been able to build a group of such like-minded boys to the point where we're now doing boxing seminars and we're all just fighting each other and beating each other up. It's great. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot different to a lot of online communities nowadays because all of them, you know, these like Niki mm. Americans that are just like, I'm making ten thousand dollars per month for it's like we're actually meeting up and doing a flipping boxing seminar in the middle of the UK. Like who's who else is doing that? Let's be real. Yeah. Who Literally, yeah. It's not one of those gay little Discord servers or those gay little inner communities like where they're they're not actually meeting each other in real life and it's just a bunch of nerds in there. We're not nerds. Alpha setters are not nerds. Yes, we're focused on our grind and we understand that it's important to leverage social media and like do the online work, sit at the keyboard and mouse for a little bit and get your work done. But we're not cave goblins we go out into the real world we meet each other in person we do real per real real world stuff i always say every time i speak to someone people have got everyone's got time to do the things they want to do you can always make time mm. for the things that you want to do so like us we want to grind so we make time to grind and we mm. want to do shit like this like go out for steaks and cigars and and box like you've got time to do the things you want to do it's just got to be honest with yourself and do what you actually need to do Mm. do you know what I mean yeah because like, every time I speak to someone like, on a call or like someone like potentially coming in they tell me they don't have time or they're saying in one hour I was like bro let's be real if we actually break down your day you've got time to spit, like to put in if you actually want to you know you want to better your situation you've got time to do it mm. let's, let's not let's cut the bullshit one thing that I'll say as well so we've, we've just done our first alpha set of boxing seminar there were seven guys yeah seven guys they've all travelled like these guys don't live in Nottingham they've all travelled to come here they're here for the whole day. Some of them, I think Aman's even like bought hotel rooms and stuff. Like, these guys have travelled here and they've made time to come to this event today. There's other people that might have seen that was doing a meetup but thought, oh, it's a bit far, you know, I'll go next time, or stuff <laughs> like that. But like, if you're ever torn between two choices in life, I love this quote now and I'm going to live my life from this but for the like, for, forever now. Um, if you're torn between two choices, choose the one that makes the more interesting story. Choose the more interesting one. No, I like that. So there's going to be people where it's like, oh, should I go? Um, I've already had loads of messages from alpha yeah. setters because obviously the alpha, uh, when we went to Thailand, I went to, with the alpha setters and we only had a certain amount of bedrooms in the villa and it was like first Is come, first like, serve. A lot of people saying they wish they came. There's so many people that since we got back from Thailand, oh, I wish I came to Thailand, but oh, I was unsure, I was umming and ahhing yeah. and I almost came, but well, maybe, wasn't maybe the right it's time. because people like didn't know how sick it, like we were, yeah, like, like, like how high energy lifestyle was. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know when you're seeing it, it's like it's like we can say it one thing, but when you're actually seeing it, because mm. um, we documented it, because obviously yeah. we've been living like this for the yeah. time. Yeah, but yeah. When yeah. when you're actually seeing it, it's like oh shit, that's actually gonna be sick. So exactly. Maybe like after this, 
because um, obviously this is the first boxing one mm. we've done. Maybe when like now for this and the boys can kind of, you know, in the group calls they're telling the other boys yeah. how sick it's gonna be because it is. Everyone enjoyed it. Everyone's saying how sick it was. Bro, everyone's you know, got a cameraman. Everyone's had such cameraman, a great ta- cameraman for yeah. it. You got footage. You got your yeah. Own I, hired, I hired a photographer, a videographer as well. Everyone's got pictures. So it's like, everyone's had a great time. Bro, yeah, because realistically. A lot of the boys that said no or like are not here, what are they probably doing right now? Mm. Like, valid excuse, like if you're working on something. Yeah, but like, but they will be working, of course, because alpha setters don't waste time. Yeah, but but re- they're going to be in a room by themselves. They could have done that work later. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? They could have had the one day to come and box with the boys. And it's, it's just about getting out of your comfort zone, right? Because like, there's people where it's like, oh, I've never met them before. I'm, oh, I'm, I might be a little bit uncomfortable. Not, not oh, boxing, oh yeah. I've not done boxing. They might beat me up. Like, bro, just just yeah, literally like, grow a pair of balls. So everyone that go. boxes, Jordan started last week or so, two mm-hmm. weeks ago. And Jordan's there like, bro, he, he's enjoying mm-hmm. it, man. A bit closer. Yeah, and he's enjoying it. Like, even though he's like a beginner, mm-hmm. no one's going to beat you up. Like, yeah. You know? yeah. And Jordan's the only new guy as well. Yeah. Like, he's been coming boxing with me. For a couple of weeks now and he's doing well but everyone else i was really surprised that all the other alpha setters that come through like they all fight they'll box we've got beast kian he's got two boxing fights this month he was supposed to box yesterday but his opponent didn't want to fight him anymore we've got juan who's moving like the prime john jones if you go check out his instagram yeah. we've got david he was in thailand for us with us for a month he, like you know jordan and um david and yomi were going to war in the thailand vlog um yeah, we've just got a great group of boys and that's just the power of posting content. You post content online and you attract people similar to you. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Even if you are not a business owner, even if you're not starting your own community or something like that, even if you're just an appointment set watching this video, I truly believe that everyone in 2024 should be starting a personal brand because it just gives you so much leverage in life. Bro, there's this guy that we was even speaking about that I, I saw um, on Instagram. And he literally just posts, like, he does, like, uh, gym workouts. He's talking about Ching. Ching, Ching yeah. Wei. Yeah, yeah. Ching Wei, Alpha Set. Go look up his IG. He posts so, gym workouts. So, he literally posts gym workouts, but, like, for athletes, because I think he does futsal. And um, he literally, I think he started, like, February with, like, 1,500 followers. And then now, what is it, April? Start of April? So, two, three, uh, start of May, sorry. <laughs> two, three months. He's got 15, 16K followers just from consistently posting. He's not like, I imagine he hasn't got an editor or anything because it's not it's not anything crazy editing. It's not crazy videos. It's literally just his workouts. And he's consistently posted it and he's got traction from about 16K followers. And like the amount of leverage and like the, what you can do with 16K followers is crazy. So, you know, there's no negative to posting. There's literally no negative other than it makes you feel uncomfortable. But obviously. Mm. Yeah. Just being authentic as well. When you're creating a personal brand, you want it to be authentic. Yeah. Chinks is authentic. Yours yeah. is authentic. Mine's auth- authentic. And if as long as you're authentic, you're going to attract people that are similar to you. Pe- yeah, exactly. And that's why Alpha Set is Alpha Set. And it's like, in this, I always say this every t- time I like I jump on call with someone, I, I'm like, yo, this guy's like, like kind of like me. It's like, in society nowadays, it's really f- hard to find different people similar mindset to you. Um, especially like, in environments like university or like even my friends now, like I've got a lot of love for a lot of my friends, but realistically, like the circle we had in Thailand, for mm. example, all of these guys are like on the grind and like fighting, gym, working, like they're all on the grind. Whereas, you know, in real life, it's very hard to find people like that. So if you actually post content, you're going to attract people like that. And then you actually find the people that you want to meet. You find the people that you want to be friends with and they're actually going to be around you because obviously there are people out there that are doing it but it's just difficult to find them in real life when you make friends online though as long like if they're not too far away or even if they are far away you have to take charge and like make plans like you need to be the big g you need to just take control of the friends group and you need to be the one that actually makes plans because you don't want to have some online relationship with someone that you never actually meet in person that's like you're not pen pals. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want pen pals. You want actual boys. You want brothers. So you need to be willing to say, okay, bro, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna come to um, the Netherlands on this day. Are you free? Amazing. Let's let's do let's link up and then you plan the things. You plan things out with your boys. Or let's say you make some online friends in there in England. You be the one to like suggest ideas, plan things. Um, yeah, like you know, we planned this today. And even if, like, because another thing that, that just brought me off, like, being that leader, like, for example, mm. even if you're not in this really high-level friendship group yet, even in your friendship group, take lead. Like, so, so it gives you that, like, authority and gives you that leadership skills that when you get into a big G group, you're not going to feel, like, scared to be the big G. Mm. Because if you're already practicing it in, like, a lower-value group and, and s- say such, 
it's like it's going to feel natural you're going to have those natural leadership capabilities how's your mouth ble- bleeding by the way what are you done I don't know. Is that boxing or was that from falling off the boxes? Uh, one of the, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay, fair. <laughs> but yeah, now we've had a we've had a great session today. I chucked my um I got my coach to do um the seminar for us as well. Fit as fuck times alpha set as boxing seminar. Great time, honestly. Like it was ten out of ten. We've got a great group of lads, and the sparring was really really high quality. And then later we're going for cigars and steaks. Yeah. Just just peak. It's called Alpha Set. It's just peak testosterone maximum. We'll just beat each other up. Then we're going to go get steaks. And then we're going to have cigars. Testosterone is mad. And just living a high energy lifestyle with the boys. This is the way. This is going to raise your frequency. And you're going to be able to just be more productive just in life. Just on that thought, this is obviously not related to, to what we're doing. But there's a spot in Manchester. Hmm. Bottomless steaks, bruv. 35 bottomless pound. steak. 35 pounds for bottomless pound. It's only we're rump, pay- it's rump and something else. We're paying 35 pounds, well, at least for one steak each. It's, it's, right rump, now. it's rump and something else. Like, obviously, it's not like no, like, sir. Like, it's not like no, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not like not, no mad thing. We're not having unlimited but beer buyers, Unlimited yeah. steak, like, you can't go, like, 35 quid, like, with uh, unlimited, like, chimichurri or, like, peppercorn or whatever. Unlimited, well. unlimited Crazy. steak with unlimited peppercorn. Crazy. Crazy. 35. 35. How many steaks do you think I'm from, taking no, from, out? From Sunday to Thursday, 35. On Saturday, it'll be more. How many steaks do you think I'm taking out? Three to four. I think it would be, it's harder than you how think. Much, how much do you think you could have? Three, like, yeah. You same, think, well, we've already established that I can eat more than you. There we go. Oh, brother, don't eat you, A little bit, but not a whole steak more than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. Maybe mm. not a whole steak. Mm. But then I think I would just do it just because I'm competitive. That's fine. You can make yourself your body. I think you I can would, make your belly hurt. I think and I would because I, then it gets past the point where you're even enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I would make my belly hurt just to be. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I would. <laughs> you can be in pain, and I'll be yeah, there yeah. enjoying my steaks. Yeah. Now we need to hit up that spot, though. Obviously, we're going to do an alpha set of meet up in Manchester very soon. So there we yeah. go. Um, football. We'll play football, and then we'll go for bottomless steaks yeah. with the boys in Manchester. It's sorted. It's a Perfect. done deal. Perfect. That's the next alpha set of meet up. There we go. And you need to get involved, boys. 100%. Yeah. So. I think there's quite a lot of boys that um, like live around Manchester as well. Yeah, there is. There's obviously Shane and his little his yeah, little true. tribe. Yeah, his, yeah. his crew from Liverpool. Josh will probably come down. Maybe we can get some of the guys from like up north to come down as well. Mm. You know, like Rebadal and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's from Newcastle. Yeah. Right. It's still kind of far. It is far, but like... It's closer know, it's than gonna be anywhere. The, it's going to be the closest yeah, yeah. that we get, realistically. Realistically, yeah. I'm going to be going all the way to Newcastle. Yeah. That's, that's quite... Yeah, so maybe we can even get you bearded and stuff down. But yeah, no, we've got a great group, Alpha Setters. Like, I'm really, I'm just really proud to be able to do stuff like this. It's, it's been a great day. Um, literally having a photographer and stuff like that. And the sparring was just great rounds. I think when you're, when you're punching each other up as well, it's just something, I don't know, it just helps you really form good relationships when you're just beating each other up. It's just a autistic characteristic of men, I believe. But when you sparred someone, that's your brother now. You know? Yeah, because it's like when they catch you with a good shot, you're like, I got no affairs, bro. And yeah. it's like you acknowledge it. And it's like, yeah. oh, like no, because I like, think of it, like, when would you, like, meet someone for the first time and actually just give a guy a hug? You, yeah, you would. But you would do that after sparring. You'd yeah. hug a guy yeah, after yeah, sparring. Yeah. yeah, especially if it's a good round as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you would never just give a guy a hug first time yeah, meeting yeah. him. But after sparring, 100%. you're comfortable enough to give them a hug because yeah. that's how good sparring is for just building bonds. Yeah. It's mad to think. Yeah, but Punch I think it's also up. like the sportsmanship of it though. Like, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, what you yeah, do. definitely. But because like yeah, like if you if you play in yeah, no, to be fair, but like you could even, you, you even with football, anyway. yeah, you don't like I'm not, yeah. not hugging someone. Exactly, you're not yeah. gonna go hug someone after football. Mm. But um, one thing that I believe is there's gonna be a lot of guys that watching this that go gym. Everyone should be going gym. Like that's not that's a non-negotiable. But I truly believe that uh, as men we have to play sports, like play sports, like a sport, not just gym. It's not, this is not just about fitness, but truly just on a competitive level where we are like competitive and we're trying to win. There's, yeah, there's so many benefits. It's not even necessarily just about like trying to be like pro or anything. It's like the competitive nature, like the team, mm. like even in a, in a solo sport, you're still going to have a team. Like boxing. Yeah, you've yeah. got a team. You've got yeah. like your cornering people. Yeah, like I've got my the boys. Team, the team skills, the like the competitiveness. There's so many benefits and like even... Obviously, cardio, it's a lot more fun doing a sport than actually just running. I mean, yeah. obviously, running's a massive trend right now, but for me, that ain't going to be something I ever enjoy. Gay, man. I never... Ever, oh, the trend the trend for running's crazy right now, man. I don't, oh, it's mad. It's mad to me. I just find it boring. 
horrible. But anyway, back to the point. Yeah, doing a sport is it's it's all we've known really though. Since Yeah, it's all we've known. But there are some people where as they grow older they'll move away Drop from out their and go full time gym. Because yeah, because it's yeah, like, oh yeah. they don't want to go pro. So what's the point? and they sort yeah. of stop the sport and they go yeah. full time gym and I don't think that's I don't think that's all right. Yeah. No, I can see no, I was just checking yeah. it on. Yeah, it's on. Like with football, a lot of people are like, oh, like the Sunday league. It's like Sunday league's dead. Mm. So it's like maybe like football doesn't have to because it's like if you just play Sunday league, it's not really competitive. It's just like messing about kind of thing. So, mm. um, but like even five aside, five aside is hella competitive. Even if you're just doing like seven aside, like once a week, twice a week, five aside, like it's so competitive because I do five aside every now and again, like Sunday or whatever. Bro, it's more taxing than an actual thing, and it's so competitive because everybody just wants to win, and in our like. Genetically, and that's what, and that's genetically, what we need. you need to that's you want to win because it, you know, it's gonna like bounce off the other things yeah. in your life. You know, I've um, I've been like really autistically researching about testosterone the last few days because I'm adding a load of modules into this. Um, we've got a course coming out in Alpha Set. It's called the Become a Fucking Weapon course. I've been autistically researching about testosterone and yeah, that 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 competitive fire that we have, that's that's sometimes the difference between us producing um, synthesizing extra testosterone or extra uh, cortisol if we've got that competitive fire to win then we synthesize cholesterol into testosterone rather than cortisol so it's like literally that competitive fire gives you a testosterone boost and that's gonna compound effect on all the other areas of your life i also think in sports you're always going to lose you're going to lose at some point and that is a very like you need to be able to yeah, feel the of feeling course. of losing yeah, as well yeah. so you know what it's like and you don't like losing in football the worst thing in the world imagine losing a boxing fight the worst thing Bruv, in the world you want to like kill imagine yourself. losing your first boxing yeah, yeah exactly fight. it's like it's I lost like that my horrible first horrible feeling yeah and it's like you need to be able to you need to feel that i lost my first boxing fight and then i've not lost since because i felt that and i was like i don't want to feel that, that again. again exactly and then i'm training with bad intentions, ready to take this guy out. And what did I do in December? I took him out and got my belt. So, yeah. Exactly, yeah. I think losing is important, it's just as important. So, obviously, it sounds like backwards, like no one wants to lose, of course. But, for example, in appointment setting, mm. you're not going to want to lose a, lose a lead that yeah, easily. Yeah. You're not going to give up at the first objection. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You need the competitive fire and it's going to help you in appointment setting, it's going to help you in sales, it's going to help you in business. 100%. Um, also, another that little side point about testosterone as well. So men get, we get testosterone when we win something. We also get testosterone if, um, we also get a testosterone boost. If like, let's say you're watching um, the UFC or something and like you're really rooting for, for Max <laughs> what Holloway. What are they winning? Bro, bro, if you're, let's say I'm really rooting for Max Holloway and Max Holloway like, wins as well. I'll also get a testosterone That's boost crazy. from that as well. That's it's weird, crazy. isn't it? That's crazy. That's weird. Maximize watching sports, boys. Yeah, yeah. So like when I was when, optimize watching when sports. I was sat here on this sofa right here watching UFC three hundred and I seen Max Holloway slap Sleep Gagey, I was in front of the mirror. I was like, let's go! And I'm so, tense. So what? So what? I'm I, got, I'm getting... I lost testosterone for yeah, that. Cause... Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, <laughs> Please, it's just bro. a really interesting thing. So you know, ideally, boys, if you're gonna support fighters, like Do you know, good ones. <laughs> support the good fighters. Support the literally, good ones. I'm not even joking. And obviously, if you're gonna compete in sports yourself just be the good one as well make sure you make sure you win um but yeah i think sports is so important yeah. the competitive fire um the teamwork supporting the boys rooting for each other and then just having ops just just getting angry with it and just just yeah, trying to beat the bro. ops bro the other day in football someone got a red card because he had but he stood up a head but it's because <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy this is like a common thing in football especially like non-league okay like when so like someone like did a header and like the guy got knocked on the floor and the next guy went Head off this big strike went fuck off elbowed him <laughs> elbowed him and, and he's like and his side is ended and the guy like stood over him the guy got off and just went bang <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious to be honest and then the managers uh, in Manchester it's yeah. a common thing yeah um, just Manchester. I don't know they they say soft cunt that's right. what that's what that's how they like violate someone okay and nice. then the manager comes on the pitch you know what you're doing you soft cunt and I was just there like laughing my head off <laughs> oh this is like my second game for this team yeah and I was just there laughing because it... oh so you've played twice and I've managed twice yeah fairs yeah yeah that's, 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 that's yeah 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 that's good um yeah I think sports is important man uh, ideally I think men should do combat sports as well I think being able to fight uh, is just important yeah 100% obviously I, I do football I've done football all my life but being able to, I can fight. 
It's like I wouldn't want to be on a football pitch and then someone like dashes me on the floor and I, what, what can I do? I can pretend to push it, but what what if shit really goes down? Yeah. I've <laughs> got to be able to... I feel like you live your life differently if you can't fight. Yeah. 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 Like you're not going to stick up to, for yourself. Mm. You're not going to stick up for your girl. You're not going to really... Like, well, I mean, there, there is do... people that, that do, but obviously it's not yeah. warranted. Yeah. So it's like if, like if an altercation actually happens and it's a long day. Mm. So it's like you can talk the talk, but... Yeah, yeah. You need to be able... You need... Like, if you know from your core that you can defend yourself, then think of how much stronger you are going to be like, on your opinions and like, on your worldview and on, on your word and stuff. You can defend everything yourself. Everything you truly say. Everything yeah, you say you, is a suggestion. You, you can just say it with your... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to talk with your chest rather than just like being like a little quiet guy in the corner, being spoken, speaking when spoken to, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. You need to be able to confront people. You need to be able to stick up for yourself and other people. Like, I just... I think you'd live your life differently if you couldn't fight. So if you can't fight, you need to know how to fight. Like one hundred percent, gym's not good enough. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Obviously, gym is a is a vital thing that you need. But there's too many guys that are just focused on looking the part, looking mm. good. It's not everything. Like yeah, the physique. Like because you know we had back in what twenty twenty our peak physiques. Looking was it twenty 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 one or two maybe 20, 20, maybe twenty twenty one. I think twenty twenty one twenty twenty one peak physiques. Peak physiques. Yeah, it looked sick. It looked amazing. But like now, like I didn't even care that much to look yeah. like that. Like my yeah, shoulders yeah, yeah. my shoulders look mini now. Like I was literally even looking at myself in the mirror the other day mm. in the gym, like, what's happened to my shoulders? Because my shoulders were stinking huge. Yeah. Huge in it. Like but I used to think like even when I wear my football tops, like it used to like come out of my top. I used to literally walk around like, like <laughs> square. <laughs> what are you talking um, about? Square down. Uh, okay. My shoulders are huge, but yeah, now like they're not, but I can fight better. Yeah. Which no, no, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, same. Like, yeah, if I look at pictures for me a few years ago, like, obviously, we're still in really good shape, but we had like a period where we was just like locked into the gym grind. Like, we were just locked in. I was on, yeah. like, I was taking creatine and everything. I was locked into the gym grind, and we were just massive. We were just looking great. But yeah, like, we, I'd beat, I'd absolutely like beat the hell out of two years ago, yeah. me. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, I looked great, yeah, but I'd, I'd batter myself so. That's that's the main thing. As long as you've got a decent physique, you don't need to be walking around like with like a. Some, yeah, we're like, not like really. So you're not competing yeah. for a flipping. We're not competing. Bodybuilding show. We're not some one of these like Instagram. You know, not Instagram geeks that just. That's why even in the module like that that we're making, it speaks about actually being mm. able to like move when you're like 50, 60 and seven. Mm. Like because yeah, you go in gym and lifted all these big weights, but you're gonna feel stiff. Mm. Yeah feeling stiff as well like if you go back and watch like prime conor mcgregor like conor mcgregor nowadays like he looks a little bit stiff that's why he's being losing but if you look at prime conor mcgregor he literally talks about like like most of his day the focus most of his training most of his day the focus is on just movement and um unlocking his body and not being stiff and stretching and like athleticism training mm. and stuff like yeah, that yeah, and yeah. that and you're including that in the modules as well yeah, right? yeah, the, yeah. Uh, you've got a whole athleticism module yeah for them to go through loads Sprinting of videos OP. There. Yeah, sprinting's OP. Again, I'll go autistic with the testosterone, but it's like the best exercise to increase testosterone. I've got so much stuff that I'm going to include in this. I've been locked in the last few days. I've just been, the sun's been out in the UK. I've literally just been sat in the garden with my tiny little table set up in the garden. And I've just been smoking cigars and just working all day. That's been my routine. Cigars are so unbelievably OP for productivity. It's insane. Um, but yeah, cigar light later, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to later. Cigars, yeah, the boys. I've not smoked a cigar since Thailand. I bought some, I bought, I went to the shop yesterday, spent £100 on some more cigars for the boys. I'm not cigars. I'm not a big cigar guy like this guy, but I, I enjoy my cig a cigar every now and again. Get some wine going, get some steaks going. Yeah, 100%. Steak. Don't get drunk, but a little bit of wine's okay. Good wine. Mm. Wine. I, I've never been a wine guy in the past. Um, until I actually like had like good quality red wine. Mm -hmm. Like I never used. I used to just think red wine, red wine. It's like a seven pound bottle or a fifty quid bottle won't make a difference. It's just like people being a bit extra. Mm. Whereas I've actually tasted good wine now, and it's actually it's crazy the difference. So, question. Speaking of wine, um, are you gonna come to church tomorrow? Probably not. No. Why? Because I'm not. Religious. Yeah, no, but it's like it, you, you when you go in, like you'll feel. I, do, like I don't like the vibes. church. Promise you, you like you like. I it. promise you, I won't. Okay, right. Well, anyway, we'll wrap it up. Wrap it up because I can hear mum's here and she wants to talk to you apparently. So yeah, subscribe for more content, boys. Let us know um, 
what content do you want to see moving forward just drop a comment down below as always boys keep grinding